moving on to the games. PlayStation VR 2 doesn't have the best catalog at launch and is missing some major titles normally used to show off the new technology. With the first PSVR, we got an Astrobot game, the Playroom VR, PlayStation VR Worlds, Batman VR, Star Trek Bridge Crew, Eagle Flight, Rigs, Mechanized Combat League, uh, what else? There was Drive Club VR and Battlezone, but while we have a number of impressive games for the PSVR 2, it's only a small number out of the 47 launch titles available. There are, however, a hundred plus games in the works, and some of them are looking very impressive. We'll explore those more when they get closer to release. For today, we're talking about the games that you can play right now. I've had the pleasure of playing Horizon Call of the Mountain, Resident Evil Village, and Gran Turismo 7. Yes, it's not a new game, but they gave us a full VR update for it. I'm serious, you can now play the entire game in VR. Every game mode, except local multiplayer that is, that means that you get the entire career in online multiplayer all in VR, and it's one of the most beautiful games ever. That's what I started with, and it did not disappoint. If you're a real race fan, this game is a no-brainer. Not only can you use the original DualSense controller that came with your PlayStation 5, but you can buy an expensive steering wheel rig that will make your entire setup a true driving simulator. You get to drive almost every car you could dream of, both old, new, and even concept cars, the OLED screens and HDR makes colors pop, and you almost want to reach out and pull down the visor when the sun is shining in your eyes, it's so bright. One of the coolest things I've seen in VR yet was uh, the race that I told you about where I believe it was on the Nuremberg track, I, I could be wrong on that though, but you start out in the day and by the end of the race it's nighttime and there are fireworks all around you. The fireworks are brilliant against the true black sky and honestly some of the best visuals I have seen in VR and really made me love Gran Turismo again for the first time since way back in the Gran Turismo 2 days. Back then it was new to have the type of car customization and graphics that Gran Turismo offers and it was so much fun tuning a car to make it drive as good as possible and enable you to win the race. After that, it wasn't new anymore, and I just couldn't get myself into the sequels. It really turned into more of a driving simulator, and more for hardcore simulation fans that may spend thousands to get a more realistic simulator setup to play the games. I've really always been more of an arcade racer myself, and stayed away from all Gran Turismo games after the first and second one. Until now, that is. I am addicted. I am now a much older and overworked gamer with a family and don't have much time to game anymore. As you know, I own Holiday Home Care and we take care of over 100 holiday homes on the island. We have not been able to hire staff for over 17 months now, so that means many, many hours of work for myself and the staff we do have. That doesn't leave a lot of time to play video games. When I do play, I want something I can hop into for a few minutes and then turn off while enjoying the time that I can find a game, and Gran Turismo can do that. If I only have 10 minutes, I can hop in and play a quick race. If I have more time, well, you can sink hours into this game. In fact, one of the races takes over 40 minutes to complete. When you play through the career, they start you out slow, you start with just enough money to buy a very low-powered vehicle, and you start racing. Every race nets you more money, new cars, and roulette cards that enable you to win more cash upgrades or vehicles. This game is a broke car collector's dream. They have over 424 cars from 62 manufacturers, and that includes things like a 69 Boss Mustang to a new Ferrari. Every car handles differently. 
and I swear VR makes it so much more fun to tune each car. You can literally feel how the car handles better in VR, and even changing out a tiny part can have a huge impact on how the car drives. Just like the original, Gran Turismo 7 has massive upgrade options for each car, and every car can be customized differently. If you like online racing, well, you can join your friends and race, or just drive with no restrictions around any of the tracks in any of the cars. It has truly made the PSVR 2 for me, and even if there were no other games worth anything, I would happily get it for Gran Turismo 7 alone. It's the only racing game where you spend more time fine-tuning your car than actually driving it, it's like a relationship where you're always trying to make things better, but you never actually get to enjoy the ride. But hey, at least with Gran Turismo 7, you don't have to worry about your car leaving you for someone faster. It's hundreds of hours of VR entertainment, and it's about one of the best VR games that I have ever played. If I had to give it a rating, it would have to be a solid 5 out of 5 stars. 